What is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're inside the Maserati GT. Tomorrow we're actually gonna go to what is that show called? Supercar OC. Okay, it's it used to be called Lamborghini Newport Beach, but today it's the day before. We're gonna get this car washed. Yeah, we're gonna take this to uh, one of those instant washes, so this is gonna be pretty interesting to bring this thing in. Yeah, this is uh, this is some place. So, I mean, there's a Challenger coming in there. Justin's there, his car is pretty dead ass dirty too. Here we go. <laughs> I'm getting actually a bit nervous bringing this car in here. Cause you don't usually see people that bring cars like this in one of these. Oh man, here we go. I missed this from my childhood. Make sure my windows are up. My car is like, thank God, finally. Imagine I just put my window down. I'd be so screwed. Revving into the car wash up. <laughs> that experience really took me back in time. It's kind of cool, huh? <laughs> it's like a rave. There's just like soap everywhere. Damn, it's so much cleaner now. Did you get a towel? No, because I don't have a dollar. Let me see if this tires. I got the tire. They got... Yeah, damn, they got it pretty good. You want to pose in front of the car? Huh? You want to pose in front of the car? Wipe my car down? <laughs> I'm trying to get the washer thing too. Okay, we're gonna cut it right here. Back to Lamborghini New for Beach. This is it. We're back here at Supercar. I was about to say Supercar Sunday. <laughs> we're here with Justin back at the meet. We haven't been here a year now. So the last time we were here it was when the Senna first got released. So if you jump back to that video, it was probably the last vlog, legit vlog I had when I wasn't working at uh, where I'm working at now. Yeah, but anyways, we're back here at Lamborghini. Uh, well, my God. <laughs> Lamborghini. <laughs> so before we head into Lamborghini Newport Beach, we're gonna jump back to another video that I filmed two days ago about the Maserati GT. Just a small update. Basically, we got the bushings and the control arm finally fixed and you can see how bad it is in that video if we jump to it right now. What's up everybody? We're at GI right now. I'm filming with my phone because I left my camera somewhere else right now, but we're at GI's parking lot. We're getting, we're actually getting my car worked on right now. It's up on the lift. We're just doing the control arm today and then we're also doing the differential just to make sure, you know what I mean? Like that thing is leaking or it's like seeping fluids. Thank you again for hooking up. That's Jose, my man. Travis is back there and doing the differential service. Looking pretty sick. This is what I was talking about earlier. Look at this, this is disgusting. This is the, they put like some silicone, like from my understanding, this is like, they just did like such a rough, like unprofessional job on this. That's why these guys like, you know, later on when I want to get my car serviced again, just to clean this up. And then the differential right there, getting worked on is what we've worked on today, what they worked on today. It's the upper control arm. So yeah, we're looking at the bushings right now. This is pretty much, what is this? One of the bushings? It's part of the bushings. So oh, this is, basically this is the outside of it. Uh -huh. This is the inside where it sits. Holy crap. So basically it sits, it's a two piece. Uh, like this. Yeah, and so this is was for the both of the front uh, upper control arms. Okay, so welcome back. So after we talked about where I showed you the Maserati GT, uh, so the bushings and that were terrible. So what else needs to be done is front passenger right front tire thing needs to be taken back to the shop so it can get corrected because it's not completely circular and then the car needs to service already because uh yeah i've been driving it like a shit ton so we're here in the back lot we're just gonna we're gonna go around real quick check out everything and then we're gonna go to pier correct if you've never been to pier correct it's a lot of vintage like portions Porsches and bmws i don't know why i'm using these two fingers but it's really rad so we're gonna just come on <laughs> Go look at some other shit. Yeah, typically in this back lot, they kind of keep like everything that's not Lamborghini up here. So the Ferraris, the Porsches, the McLarens, and all that kind of crazy stuff. Look at that, an ACR. Ooh. Do you miss this show, Justin? You know, it's really good to be here. Um, thank you so much for having me. Uh, you know, it's always... I started from the bottom, and now we're here. And, uh... <laughs> Can you believe we haven't been here for a year? Four years. Okay. 
Okay, so oh, did really? you just turn off my fucking? Music? <laughs> We're here over at uh, Randolph Shh, Avenue. Your correct is to our right hand side, right hand, right hand side. Right no, we're on the left. Uh, so definitely a lot more low key. They hold this meet every first Saturday of the month too, same time as Lamborghini Newport Beach. So you kind of have to choose, pick and choose which one you want to go to. But the crowd here is a lot different. But just appreciate these cars and take a look at them. Majority of the crowd already left, but uh, Justin's looking at his new dream car, so, and he's like in love right now. But there we go. This is my favorite right there. Is that a 190E? Am I right? It's really what I want. If I could choose one historical car to get, this would be it. The 190E. It's just the look of this thing. Like, I think my dad used to have one of these, and it was like such a dream to drive, but he, ha he did have to sell it because, unfortunately, he couldn't afford me and the cars so. but i know some of you guys will probably take that instead but this 190e truly has my heart i'm gonna say this fanboy more than anything okay to finish up the vlog we're here at the camp okay he's getting mad just say we'll be here for like five minutes okay thank you everything okay everything's a -okay. okay so we're here at the camp uh what do you call this it's like a it's like a cool but we're here with pew, 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 pew. You know, we're so spoiled here in like Southern California. We have like Conus like owners just driving them like, kind of like on the daily yeah. or actually every weekend like yeah. this thing comes out. Mark loves it. Loves it. But which one's your favorite again, Will? Because this guy is like a true Conus fan. Um, I really like Valhall. Uh -huh. Jeff's uh, RS. I really love that. Yeah, that one's pretty rad. Yeah, see, look, in the, in the light, you can't even tell this is the Trevita yeah. versus the regular CCX. It's only two of them in the world. They're intended to be three. This is number three of three, right? Yeah. And they only made the one of one of three, three of three, but they never made the number two of three. Yeah, so this is chassis number, number three. three, but technically it's the second one. And that's pretty much it for today, folks. Uh, but for now, we're probably going to head out, do some other stuff. We have like some party thing going on, so I don't want to get over there. But yeah. All right. Respect your mother. <laughs>